So it's just another day. I want to reply to my comments. I go to my YouTube studio, reply to some comments. And after that, I want to switch into another app, right? So naturally, I would hold this halfway. And what? How is my home screen there right behind? And it just fixed itself? What just happened? Let's talk about that coming up. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today we'll be talking about Android 10's gesture navigation system and why I think it still needs a ton of improvement before it can reach the gold standard in my opinion which is the iPhone here. And that's not just me saying it, we'll be seeing how and why the iPhones are objectively better compared to Androids. So before we start talking about all of that, Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll get started right onto the first problem. And that is the glitchiness of it. So as the basic here, um, I'm using Nova Launcher on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but does the launcher that I'm using is you know contributing to this glitchiness of the whole system? I'm not sure, let me know down in the comments below, but yeah, my experience with the navigation system is truly really bad it's really rare that i see clean ui with no home screen behind me and you know just having a good time with the navigation it frustrates me a lot more than the three button navigation gesture i think that's still the way to go on samsung phones especially on the note 20 ultra so why is that let me show you a little bit here first if i want to go onto the multitasking view I always see this and also the next thing is if I want to switch more than one app this thing scrolls only one by one so if I want to switch four applications I have to swipe four times but that's not the case in other phones let's say the MIUI here or the iPhones let's take this one because this is you know Android vs Android and if I want to switch between four like four apps behind, what I can see on the multitasking view is four apps here. So I can just tap on that and there you go. Just, it's it's such an effortless move on the MIUI here. But here on the Note 20, I swipe up and I have to do four times and there you go. Swipe up and again, and can you see there? This is kind of my thing with the Android 10. And can you see the jankiness? Icons will pop in and out. It's really jaggy and sloppy and it really needs a ton of improvement. Maybe it's the Nova Launcher that I'm using. Maybe. I think uh, it is the Nova Launcher. But I don't have the same issue with the three button gesture. So let's move on to why I think iPhone is the better one. So for example here, the jankiness right the stability and you know I, I don't even remember the topic anymore but yeah i think you know, we're talking about how unpredictable it gets on this multitasking here so first if i want to go to the multitasking it, this note 20 ultra still gives a haptic feedback so that's awesome but if i swipe faster on the iphones like like that i can move faster i can just do this right and find the app that i want but here I'm only swiping one by one and I don't think this is good ever since the first navigation gesture which is like the pill shaped one which you still have to tap on it to go back home that is so bad in my opinion but yeah that's one thing and also this is the second thing here I just triggered it so if I go to multitasking sometimes this happens so what you get is a full screen view of your app which you can swipe left and right and you can still you know pick this app but you still have this search bar and clear all and all these app suggestions on the bottom here but it overlaps with each other and it doesn't look good at all and you don't know what is the app to your left what is the app to your right so it's like what and i want to go home right from this view i want to go home I cannot like that is the biggest reason why I hate the navigation gesture so much sometimes I just go into this navig like <laughs> oh my goodness can you see there it glitches out a ton so I go into this multitasking view I want to go back home I you know I want to cancel this I can't like swipe another one 
I cannot tap on the outside to go back home. What I can do is to clear all, either to do that, or I have to tap an app and swipe back to home, which is, no, I don't wanna do that. So if I wanna go on the iPhone here, I wanna go back home, I just do that. And you can see the animation there. It goes into a small icon and it just go back like to its place on the home screen. That is so like nicely polished in my opinion. And also the MIUI here, we can see here, if I wanna go back home, I just swipe and there we go, we are back at home. So this is not kind of the problem that like it's only on iPhone that you can do it. No, on Xiaomi phones, I can do this. Like it's an effortless move, basically. If I, you know, I don't wanna do anything, I just tap on here and I am go back home. I mean, I go back home and I'm home. <laughs> and also the next thing is switching between apps. So on iPhone, right? I am very used to swiping between apps like this and it is very fluid, very polished animation. I like it so much. But the thing is on the Android like 10, if I wanna do that from the home screen, can you see there? The icons pop in and out, like it doesn't know the rule. <laughs> and also if I compare this to the iPhone, can you see there? This one slowly pops in and slowly fills the screen. But here it just, the screen just pops in and then sometimes I cannot do it. And there you go, if I swipe, the swipe is even unreliable in this thing. And now I'm stuck here on the multitasking switch. It's just, <sighs> I think I should stop complaining, but there you go. Those are kind of my problem. And the last thing I think is actually not to compare this with the iPhone, right? But to compare it with my Xiaomi phone again. And I think why Xiaomi execute this much better than the Android 10's navigation gesture. The way to go back is to, you know, swipe from any edge, right? I like that. I like that so much. Just like how I do it on the iPhones. If I do this and swipe in from the right, it's like a well designed gesture. I like it. But now if I want to switch to the last used app, I don't swipe this anymore, but I hold the back button and then release it and there you go. Sometimes it might be janky here because this is super cheap Redmi 5 Plus phone with Snapdragon 625 there. So I'm okay with the navigation gesture, the jankiness every now and then on this Xiaomi phone, but I cannot, I cannot accept it on a phone as expensive as a Note 20 Ultra. <laughs> I think I got too serious there. So let's see the execution here. If I swipe from the left, the application will go to the right. If I swipe from the right, the application will go to the left. It's like a very nicely designed feature and it's very polished. But the thing here in the Note 20 or actually the Android 10, if I swipe it, oh boy, what do you see there? It's just like a jumbled mess that I'm in. And now I'm stuck here again. All right, so that's pretty much it with my problem. Actually, I have one last thing to nitpick on this thing. It's actually the Google Assistant activation you know, swiping from the bottom right or left. If I do that, the angle of the animation is different than the curve of my phone. I know it's like a universal feature because Google has to implement this on every phone out there. So it cannot be perfect, but still, this phone is too expensive to not complain about it. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. The problem that I have with Android 10 navigation gesture, and there you go. I'm in this jumbled mess again. What do you think about it? Do you hate it or are you okay with it? Or do you think like me? I basically, I hate it the way it is right now, but I think it's a good direction and Google just needs to fine tune it more, much, much more than this. And I think at the end, if you can achieve iPhone like fluidity, that will be the end goal here of the Android 10 navigation gesture. I'm all in for it. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you're having the same problem or maybe this is just my own problem or you hate me because of it. I don't know, but I try to be as objective as I can. That's why I put in Xiaomi phone here as well because it's an Android phone, but it executes it really well. You know, the navigation gesture thing. And I think it's a really nice gesture to use as an alternative to how iPhones do it. But the way Androids do it, especially when I cannot go home from the multitasking gesture unless I go into an app and go back home, that's what frustrates me the most. So 
I'm gonna stop the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you want me to make. And also, I'm gonna be reviewing Note 20 Ultra very soon. Galaxy Buds Plus. I'm still waiting for my Buds Life. But that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth, and I'll see you in the next one.